Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we're doing an unboxing video on this white van speaker scam product. This is a Dresden Acoustics 5.1 system. This is the DS9. This brand does not exist. You will see this exact same home theater system with multiple different names on it, all of which are total garbage. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a close look at this box and see if there's anything sketchy about it whatsoever. So in the top right hand corner, we have 5.1 channel, 1500 watts total HD TV theater MP4 audio. So they do have a website up. There is, oh geez, there's a cat in the way. So they do have a website and a QR code leading to it, but this website is just poorly designed. There's hardly any links at work and you don't really get any information off it whatsoever. It does look good at first glance though, but total fake. Professional home theater, 5.1 digital surround sound, custom crossover circuitry. I bet your ass there is not one piece of crossover circuitry in this thing. Maybe like a, I, you know, I doubt it. There's not. <laughs> I don't give them that much faith. Now, along the bottom of the box is where this gets kind of fun. Home and professional use for HGTV theater designed in Denmark. And there is a Denmark flag here. Quality tested by the Council of Electronic Engineers. Again, we have the Designed in Denmark logo here. Theater Audio Distributors Top Choice. Top 10 Audio Recommended Supplier. Certified Hi-Fi Audio. Audio Master. Audio Technology. Cinema. Quality tested, 100% guaranteed. Now, if we take a close look at the stock image on the front, see if I can get this here. Look at how well of a job they photoshopped this logo on here. We're now taking a look at the side of the box. There is some remnants of the custom packing tape they had with the logo put on it. They also had custom tension straps around this with the logo also silk screened on. So apparently we have 1500 watts total system power, front center surround output power five times 200 watts each. Subwoofer output power 500 watts. Magnetically shielded center and corner speakers. Complete six piece surround system. MP3, MP4, and HDTV compatible. Blu ray, DVD compatible. Cable or satellite TV compatible. Front surround speakers, driver units four times three inch plus one inch. Well, that's implying they have a tweeter, so let's hold them to that. Take your bets if these actually have a tweeter in them. All right, frequency response 80 hertz to 20 kilohertz plus 3 decibel. Sensitivity 88 decibel per watt at 1 meter. Nominal impedance 4 to 8 ohms. Center speakers, well there's only one so, you know, driver units 2 times 3 inch plus 1. Apparently the center speaker also has a tweeter in it. And all the other information is actually the same as the front and surround speakers. Now for the subwoofer, the main event, driver units. Well, again, guys, there's only one driver, and it is a 10-inch subwoofer. That is correct, I hope. <laughs> the frequency response on that subwoofer claiming 35 hertz up to 200 hertz. And the nominal impedance on the subwoofer driver is 8 ohms. So again, we're seeing all these fake logos. We also have some of the packing warnings. Uh... I'm not sure if any of those are weird at all. I'm not really uh, familiar with any of those logos. However, none of them look very strange to me anyway. I don't know what that three would be. <laughs> like stack three high maybe. You know, handle with care, recycle. Uh, I don't know what the hell that one would be. Now here's where things get a little more fishy. There is some fine printing on here. Specifications are subject to change without notice. Model number and manufacturer's suggested prices are for identifying purposes only. Manufacturer's suggested prices do not represent a bond bona fide selling price in the metro trading area. What the f bona fide selling price in the metro trading area? Uh, what the? Okay. There is no serial number on the box. And I noticed this uh, QC tested sticker. I don't think it's a sticker. It looks like someone printed it on an inkjet printer and just kind of taped it on there. Then we have that QR code. Now here we have it. The manufacturer's suggested retail price, $2,438. 
Whoa, that is the wildest MSRP price I've ever seen in my life. Usually they end in a 99 or a number that is going to make you feel a little bit more comfortable than $38 anyway. Now on this side of the box, we have this beautiful stock image of this maybe like a 2002 living room. You know, P. Diddy style. So this is the last image on the box, I swear. Here we have a nice diagram showing off this DVD player, TV, RCA inputs going into this amplifier here. I'm actually curious where this custom crossover circuitry comes into play. It quite possibly might just be in every one of these satellite speakers. That would probably be the best case scenario, really, in this kind of setup. However, it may be in the subwoofer, and it might only kind of work on the front left and right speakers and none of the other ones and quite possibly just pass the full range signal right through anyway all right let's crack into these things <laughs> so right off the bat we're seeing the fake logo on a piece of cardboard oh man how did they do that chunk of cardboard with the logo on it that's how you know it's quality so right away we have this really cheap feeling bag with another silk screened logo on it inside that bag. Some, oh, I don't even, wow. Some of the worst wire I've ever seen in my life. Not that much of it. Not enough for a surround sound system. <laughs> I don't know what the hell, there's probably only 10 feet of wire here. It's total shit. Right in the garbage. So they do have a printed manual. All the same information that was on the box, nothing new, as far as I could see. No, it's, it's just a poster. It's not a manual, nothing. It looks like a package of fun stuff, but it's just a printout of all the information that was on that box. So there actually is a manual for this. And you know what? It's just that diagram that was on the side of the box. Dear customer, thank you purchasing this 5.1 channel home cinema. Yeah, there's spelling mistakes all over this. In the first sentence, thank you purchasing. Instantly, if you're not sure about stuff, just check all the literature for, uh, you know, like consistency, spelling mistakes. Now, the only interesting sort of information I'm getting out of this manual here, there is actually number six on the introduction, abnormal smell. If an abnormal smell or smoke is detected, immediately turn the power off and unplug the appliance from the wall outlet. <laughs> Contact your dealer or nearest service center. You'd have to hit the Walmart parking lot and look for one of those white vans. So we have a warranty card here. Speakers with three-year warranty and amplifier with one-year warranty. So, this is sort of implying there's an amplifier in here. The thing I noticed right away about this warranty card, there is a Canadian address on it. We have a Montreal, Quebec, Canada address. Now, whoever lives at that particular address, if it's real, they're probably getting all kinds of these warranty cards sent in. And, oh man, yeah, it's... It's just a mess, this thing. You either get your warranty registration or... Oh man, why would you give them your phone number and stuff? Well, I guess it's time to see what a $2,438 surround sound system looks like. Hate foam. Oh, really terrible plastic wall mounts. So there is a driver in both sides of this. It swivels around like the Bose ones. Look at how far it goes. Feels bottom heavy. All right, it smells like China in here. As soon as I open that, it smells like new China smell. <laughs> so they used a real nice crinkly plastic and a real brittle foam on here. So it's getting little chunks of foam everywhere. I honestly hate styrofoam. The sound of this shit makes me cringe. Here. 
Two more satellite speakers. They are saying that they had a tweeter involved in these, but I don't think so. Now we're going to take a look at the center channel here. It is ported. However, there is no tweeter on this either. The front and surround speakers come with a little inlet on the back. That is to mount these crappy, crappy wall mounts. Be something like that when you install those. On the back we have the standard black and red push terminals as well as a very poorly printed sticker with the Dresden Acoustics logo and their model number, the HD Sound DS9 Digital Theater. <laughs> so this home theater system actually includes no amplifiers at all. So we just have six passive speakers. Luckily I have a lot of amplifiers. This is pretty well the typical thing that most people would have, an old stereo. This is a Pioneer. So our first audio test is going to be just the subwoofer running. I have it on this two-channel Pioneer amp. Left and right going into the left and right in the back of this subwoofer. Nothing else. Nothing bass boosted, no loudness. I can instantly tell there is not a crossover in here at all. Oh no. So funny enough, that didn't sound half bad. It didn't sound that great at all. It was more like a pair of $20 computer speakers with a little bit of boom added to it. But really, a lot of people would probably not even notice how terrible this actually is. But, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. The speakers have a little bit of weight to them. There must be like a magnetic shield or maybe even a rock glued in here. Both these drivers work. There's no tweeters. They mention tweeters on the box and in the manual. There is no tweeters. And as well, let me just, okay, this is going to be funny. Yeah, okay. I, f I was thinking they might have just used the same driver and put a crossover network on here, but they're just playing full range. So all these are just playing full range. We have two drivers in each one, even the center channel, wherever that is over there. Now the subwoofer we know has no low pass frequency divider. It's just playing full range. So you are hearing the voices and everything out of there. So this has been my unboxing and audio test for the White Fan Scam speaker system, the Dresden Acoustics DS9. This is not a real brand, ladies and gentlemen. Stay on your toes, shop wisely, do not accept any offers from sketchy people in white vans. Also remember to stay tuned when I hit 45,000 subscribers, this surround sound system will be blown up, smashed all over the studio. <laughs> I can't wait.